My name is Janet Salmon. I'm the Chief Product Owner for Management Accounting, work in Waldorf in Germany. And what I'm going to talk about today is something that I hope will be dear to people's hearts here. We've been reworking some of the old transactions for planning, cost center accounting, for cost center planning, project planning, internal order planning. This is something we've been doing with a lot of involvement from the German user group. Some people who watch some of the ASEG website webcast may have seen this before. I hope it's new to a few people. I've spoke to a few people at the pool last night who said, yes, they had enhancement package six. So I hope this means that some of you will see this and say, hey, cool, we could do this immediately. Because in principle, it won't cost you anything. If you have EHP6, it's a configuration to turn it on. So if I start, you know, what's planning? We're all sitting here from the controlling world. And so we think of planning not just as pure planning, but as setting budget, as setting targets, setting up things that I need for availability control, setting up targets that I need for variance analysis, putting a plan in place for results analysis. Instinctively, that process feels like something that ought to go on in an ERP system, ought to go on in R3, is something that's very much hardcore. What we do is, how can you do controlling if you haven't got a plan? You'll see, of course, another trend in planning that's maybe come on the last 10 years or so, which is more around you know, strategic planning. It's obviously been around for a lot longer than that, but people have been coming us, to us in SAP for probably 10, 15 years and saying, well, how do you bring these two plans together? How do you look at strategic plans? How do you look over a longer time frame? Traditionally, a lot of those things have been the sort of thing that have gone on outside of ERP. And what I'll be focusing on today is really operational planning. You know, what do I do to get my annual budget into ERP? What do these new transactions look like? How can I use them? How are they different from maybe what we had before? And some of you, I think, were in my harness session yesterday. I'll also give you a very sneak preview about what we're working on at the moment, where we're taking planning, what the next big step's probably going to be.